Hey guys, I got a little different type of video for you. I always do a like a yearly tool video. I haven't done it for a while. And this is the only new tool I picked up recently, besides some router bits and a new router. Uh, this Craftsman screwdriver's got all the different bits in it. I like the way it's made because it's made like the regular Craftsman screwdrivers. So I had to pick up two of them. But a friend of mine let me pick through a bunch of tools that he got a, from like an estate sale or something and so I picked through it and picked out the things I wanted and this is a these are craftsman screwdrivers I've never seen one made quite like this I had to have that and the matching handle uh, long straight one I like to have the whole set of them because I like them orange handles for some reason uh, this is just miscellaneous stuff you see it rasp file and this rasp uh, rat tail file I just figured y'all might like to see what all I picked out as far as the hand tools go. It's a tapered reamer. It's like a breaker bar. I figured that might be good for threading if I could figure out a way to adapt it. That's crash, but I didn't think it was. I've always liked to open double open end wrenches. This is just some no name brand from 9 sixteenths and half inch. This is a vacuum pump, Sears. I don't know what I'd probably use it for. It does work though. And uh, I think that'd be handy for something. It's Polish made, I guess. I like the way the handle was made on this. There's another piece of it too. Two little picks. Random triangle file. There's the handle for that file. Multi file. It's got four different types on it. Now this is actually broken, this breaker bar. I figured this piece of metal would make a good uh, handle for something. So, uh, I think the USA made fleet. It's probably an expensive breaker bar, but it's broke. And a uh, random uh, grindstone. I might use that for something. I like this framing square. It's Stanley. It's got the adjustment on there. Look how thick it is there. Everybody like that. There's another double wrench. What brand is it? Crescent. Another Swanson speed square. You can always use speed squares. And this type of square here. For some reason, the type, the name of this has completely slipped my mind for some reason. <laughs> these are like torch wrenches like welding and stuff this probably came with a saw or something changing the blade I figured I might try to restore this wrench I can't see a brand on it trust it off Craftsman screwdrivers this is one thing I thought was pretty neat here this will be handy for building guitars. This end's got a collet for it here. And if you take this other end off, it's full of small drill bits that go into that collet. So it'd be good for like hand starting uh, a hole or something in a piece of wood or even metal just to make an imprint of it. I thought that would be pretty handy for something someday. I always like little screwdrivers for adjusting that type of carburetor. That one's bent, but it's no big deal. Nice wood chisel. Task Force Square or Robertson bit. That'd be good for electrical stuff. Yeah, see, I always like the way that fits on them type of screws. I got this because I like the handle on it. Stanley. That ain't never been used. Brake tool. Pump. C clamp. That's adjustable. <laughs> nice little slip joint pliers. These are good for certain things. They're Craftsman. Older Craftsman USA. These are good if you got something, you know, 
like this for an example, something that's knurled or something that's stuck. You can loosen stuff like that. Other than stuff like that, they're just about useless. This is a, uh, that's a Craftsman too. Uh, got a magnet on that end. This is a driver tool. I feel like I showed this in another video, one like this. But it'll, it's spring loaded. It'll hold a screw for you. So you can reach down and get a screw started. It's always handy. Another random wrench. It probably came with a table saw or something like that. Nice little wood clamp. Uh, compass, I believe it's called. My mine's just not here today. Made in Taiwan, nothing special. Just always handy. A good little scraper. We'll put up here with my regular scraper I use all the time. This is some type of crimping tool, I'm guessing. But for some reason, I just can't think of what this is for. Uh, you know, it's probably something that I could use, but I can't, don't know what it's for. Random power cords. Anybody knows me? I get any power cord or extension cord or. If I see a refrigerator on the side of the road that someone threw away, I'm going to stop and cut the cord off of it. Just, I'm always making stuff. I always need cords and stuff. So here's a little random switch off something. This can be used as a scraper too, but it's, you know, it's actually like a chisel. <coughs> Another wood chisel. I thought this was pretty neat. It's got all different sizes on it. Electronic tubes. It's probably for like a TV or the old TVs or something. I'm not real sure. I think there's another one in here too. Another wood chisel. A random tape measure. Power adapter. It's good for Christmas lights. One of these sockets. It's also good for Christmas lights. A couple of fuel gauges. I always use extra feeler gauges. This hammer, it's like a jewelry or machinist hammer. That end's probably split for a reason. I'm not quite sure exactly what that's for, but it caught my eye. It says magnetic on it. It's not magnetic. I don't know what that means. Velcro bands for cables and stuff. Another wood chisel. I rarely use wood chisels. Mac. Nice little seat clamp. This is some type of machinist puller or something. Probably for watch making or something like that. I'm not real quite sure what it's for. Lock handle for like a truck topper or a garage door. Craftsman Phillips screwdriver. It ain't never been used. These small ones are bad about stripping out. A half inch thumb ratchet hose clamp there's another little ratchet what brand is this mastercraft i always use stuff like that another power cord piece of brass or copper bronze whatever uh string level maybe for something i think there's another one in here too a good little pair of needle nose pliers, random eye bolt, 3 8 adapter. I can never find these. A lot of people don't know what these are now because they're not as common. It's the uh, it's a spark plug uh, gaffer tool. I never liked this type. Craftsman crescent wrench. I think that might find a little place right there. More wood chisels. Another gaffer tool. Little Allen wrench set. New Britain, made in U.S. Miniature pair of pliers. Does it say Crotter, U.S.A. An audio jack for hooking up a cable or something to it. 
cutest little C clamp I've ever seen. Another one of them torch wrenches or whatever they're for. This is a really old type C clamp. Cinti Tool Company. I like that. That'd be something good just to have hanging up out here. Another double ended wrench. Another wood fiddle. I don't know how I ended up with wood fiddle. I never use them hardly. Another string level. I knew there was another one. There's a half inch of those. Nice little pocket screwdriver. Phillips. No brand name. Just like the way it was made. A good little pair of end nippers. And two more hose clamps. I put them over in another drawer. Another one of these little wrench tool things. The power cord. Oh, and there's a quarter inch. Uh, we got a whole set of them. The three eighths thumb ratchet. Another one of them. Yeah, another one of them. And it's the bottom. No tray in this toolbox. It's also a craftsman toolbox. So it's a pretty good little find. Okay, that's about it for this video. Just thought this might make a little something a little different for you to watch. Uh, kind of like a yard sale, garage sale, estate sale kind of find, I guess you could say. But just random tools. I'm all about vintage hand tools and anything that can be used. A lot of times stuff like this end up being scrapped or just thrown away. So we save some old stuff again. So alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.